Try to keep going. That's farmer friend singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're those Those taste bud guys. There's also a pair of sunglasses back here on the deal that might be somebody's. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, we broke something. I li- Shockingly. I like how you include yourself in this. Well, that's, that's I mean, nice of you. That's nice. That's- so, okay, we have to do our own dishes because we can't get Lyle's mom to do them that often. She does them once in a while. She's a but good gal. She's she a is a good gal. Love her to death. So, Anyhow, every once in a while something breaks and we lose some glassware back here, and that's we've why never we... lost one down here in the studio. That's the first one that actually broke. And so as Lyle's walking on, I mean, I think if this didn't run too long, you've probably seen the little intro. Anyways, um, yeah, so it broke, and uh, that sucks. Luckily, but, luckily, it's not our glass and we don't do that much wine. We buy most fresh stuff from Dollar Tree. It's fine. Sorry. Except for Glenn Cooner glasses. They suck. Okay. Sorry, Social Morgan. So here's the deal. Uh, we've got a thing here that we're going to we make you. a thing. Yeah. Um, first of all, it's Arrogant Bastard. Or it's a version of Arrogant Bastard, which is weird that we're going to start with this. No, keep talking. What You're the good. Where the hell are you going? Okay. Arrogant bastard. Let's see if anything else hits the ground. No, he made it. Shit. Um, okay, arrogant bastard, which is, in some circles, the epitome of what craft beer is supposed to be. Now, we all have different experiences with it, and we're kind of like weird with it. It's a bottle that I got a hold of when I first got into craft beer because it's not very expensive and. I brought it to a buddy's house and he gagged on it and it was terrible. And since then, I think I've had it about once a year, every year. Lyle's also had it about once a year, every year, probably because I go buy it. It's not good. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be good, but then every time we have it go, we go. They literally say like, this is not for like. No, read that part. There, there's a part on there. This is an aggressive beer. You probably won't like it. It's quite doubtful that you have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale of this quality or depth. And it goes on. And just you get the idea. Beer. So it's a weird beer. It's made by Stone. Which we love Stone. I love Stone. I Usually if Stone yeah. puts her names on it, I am going to buy it. However, we have decided that every year we've had it, it gets a little bit better. Just a so, little bit. So now we're thinking that maybe we're going to do a thing where every year we're going to pop up with one bottle and we're going to have a playlist with nothing but Arrogant Bastard. So, that being said, we're not doing Arrogant Bastard this time. We're we're doing doing Double Bastard. Double Bastard. You take a stab at this. I feel like I broke a glass. Probably not. All right. So, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Tastebook. Ooh, I did say Tastebook. And that is tight, right? All right, got it. I got it. There we go. Yeah. Should have really popped it off there. Um. Anyways, so I think this is going to be a thing we're going to do over and over again. Probably just the regular uh, arrogant bastard, just to see if year after year we actually are correct and we like it a little bit better. It um. Is. However, we don't have a bottle. We that was the bottle for this last year for 2019. Uh, that was on a 2020 bottle. So for 2020, though, we're kicking it off with the Southern Chard, which is a double bastard ale aged in bourbon barrels, but it's the 2015 version. I think that the Chard gives me hope. Yeah. I hope it'll be it's more It's a five-year-old smoky. ale. This is the first time we've had an aged beer on this show. These are the right glasses? Right? <sighs> no. <laughs> Once we did, we the- did cool it down. You Lyle, can... please talk about these glasses. All right, he's going to get us the right glasses. In the meantime, I'm going to take this teeny little sip of beer. I don't think you're going to hate it. Um, these glasses are taste bud glasses. 
Uh, if you would like a How set... How would you get a taste bud glass, Lyle? Pint glasses that say those taste bud guys on them. Uh, check out our Patreon page. Uh, the lowest uh, level is four bucks a month. Four bucks a month means the world to us. Um, honestly, if you're with us for long enough, if four bucks a month, we'll send you a glass anyway. Uh, but that's how you get a taste buds Man. glass. That is a... I think you're going to be pleasantly that's surprised a beer. by this. That's a thick beer. Peanut Gallery, would you all like some of this? Oh, yeah. Oh, we have hands going there. Okay. Hands in the peanut gallery. The penis gallery? No, peanut. Peanut. All right, you start talking about the beer. All right, I'm so... Some glasses. It has a similar nose as Arrogant Bastard. Is that all you got? That bottle is really heavy. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. That bottle feels like it's full. This is going to be a long episode, but it's worth it. Holy shit. <laughs> that bottle feels like it's full. I'm sorry. Pick it up. Tell me if you don't think that's... <laughs> no, it is like... That, that is a... That is a hefty... So disappointing. <laughs> 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 oh, holy shit. It don't help. This is not the first episode. Here. here. All right. We'll, uh, we'll share ours after the fact. <clears throat> No, it's, it's, it's... You can it's, donate as well. All right, we'll set that over there. <laughs> and uh, y'all and Bennett Gallery can share. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Actual tasting. Immediately... We're seven minutes in, seven, we're, we're, we're in our tasting. We're all sorry. Right. Uh, I would just say expect this when we finally decide to start drinking Arrogant Bastard. This is probably what every episode is going to be like, which is a huge fuck you to both us, you, and uh, Stone. Yeah. So... Yeah, which um, makes sense, right? Yeah, I yeah. think it makes sense all, all the right. way. Because, hey, that's what an arrogant fucking bastard is, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal. As soon as I smelled it, I immediately thought Stone Cloud Brewing, which we have done on the show yeah. before, who excels in barrel-aged everything. And, uh, you know, it's got this weird, thick, brown-like, rhubarb-looking beer. Beer. <laughs> so many party fouls. <laughs> Fortunately, Arrogant Bastard is not that expensive. Um, that particular bottle was only about uh, 12 bucks. So. Yeah. Uh, so the nose on it, though, is actually fairly palatable for what it is. No, it's just, it's just it smells like a barrel aged stout. If you're not sure what a barrel aged stout smells like, um, let's see. Okay, I want you to think of sugars. I want you to think of a slight rotted fruit, uh, or at least overly ripe fruit, a slight woodiness, and maybe, um, well, I said sugars, brown sugars. Um, See, anything else you'd want to put in there? This hits me a little lighter than a stout. It, it, more sweet like, potato. Like barley, sweet potato is a great. Sweet potato. Like the sweet potatoes your grandma makes that no one wants with the brown sugar and the marshmallows. I want Those that. sweet potatoes. Is, Disgusting. I love um, that. I want everything about that. This hits me more like a barley wine than absolutely. Else. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I'm assuming some people out there haven't had barley wine, so this is going to be a an incredibly sweet style. Take a sip of this. It's I did like immediately. It's kind of it's there's a little cinnamon. There mm -hmm. is some like overripe stone fruit. Some overripe. Mm -hmm. Plums. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah. A little bit of woodiness. It's on the tail end. You don't get it till the, the beginning. Yeah. Okay. This is not a good representation. This is an incredibly heavy bottle. Yeah, keep that over here. Uh, this is not a good representation of Arrogant Bastard. No. Oh, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah. In a, holy shit. Okay, this is a we made this a joke when we started talking about doing a uh, playlist on Arrogant Bastard. I think we actually are going to do it I'm... just because, fuck them, and it's such a weird ass. Uh, it, you told me a story. I think it's like the first real. It's the real yeah. stick it in your face craft brew. Yeah, like it's the, the thing it's of a, like. I'm yeah. better than you, and I like craft beer. And if you don't which, like this, then you're wrong. Which they fully, fully admit they did. Uh, they're they're. Absolutely, like, 
on that. Um, this one though is pretty damn good, and at twelve point seven percent. I see another bottle. Thank you very much. I will take this one. This one's okay. This bottle weighs like a pound more than this one. Yeah. What's I can't stress. Arrogant Bastard uh, original sits at 7.2. 12.7. 7. Yeah. Not quite double, but close. I? For less than half again. So usually the Arrogant Bastard Ale runs somewhere around 7 or 8 bucks. I hate to say it. I don't know why I hate to say it. I like it. This is pretty good. Aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels. We've been drinking tequila all night, though, so... Actually, let's get an off-camera. Uh, Social Morgan, did you try it? And? Barley wine. Okay, so we're, yeah. we're not that off. I... Barley wine, barley wine. I uh, I kind of am disappointed that our friend Jared isn't here to try this one. Uh, I think he would like I think this. he would like this one yeah. a lot. Um, all right, well, so... Uh, if you really want to mess up your taste buds, and you really want to probably taste the worst tasting beer you're going to have that is actually a pretty good beer, um, go get yourself a bottle of Arrogant Bastard. However, if you run into Southern Chard Double, double Bastard Ale... Now, we got this away in Kansas City with Patrick. Yeah. And I'm drawing a blank on the name of the liquor store. It wasn't Basically. Lucas, it was, uh... Nope, not Lucas. Lucas was the other one. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyhow, it's sorry. Good. We have to look back in an episode or two. When have we done this? Um, this did come out of Kansas City. I am, I'm, it's not exclusive to Kansas City, obviously. No. These guys are over in California. I'm You're sure all you can find the them all over. First time I seen this one, I grabbed a bottle of it. It was like $12, $13. Um, I did not bother with that. It's pretty good. It. Yeah. We might make Arrogant Bastard more than once a year. Just to increase the playlist size, and because now we know there's a double bastard in there. It's a shocker that we like the higher ABV beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, though, what makes it taste better? These glasses. Yeah. And yes. if you hire, if you subscribe onto our Patreon at the highest level, you can get these glasses. And you, you too, will have arrogant bastard ale that tastes phenomenal. <laughs> All right, well, until next time. Whether it be the uh, half bastard you're getting. Uh, the double bastard you're getting. Or the single in between your That's all right. Clothes you're wearing. The food you're eating. Grab a buddy. Try something new.